Snazzy Maps is a really powerful mapping tool because you have complete control over the type of map that you create. So on the website, what I recommend is that you choose a template. You can see these are the most popular tem templates. No label bright colors. I would say it would be quite popular with most people. You can explore more templates and you can see some basic maps that other people have built. It's easier to start with somebody else's template and then modify their template. So I found one earlier that I kind of like. And we'll see if we can find it. It's called Avocado World. So I opened up Avocado World and you can see I kind of like Avocado World because it has the land is green and the sea is blue but the problem with this map for my purpose is that it has too many roads on it and it has no markers between countries and it just has too many labels on it so what I can do is I can customize this map up here now down here on the side are all the different features that you could possibly have on the map. So you can see administrative features such as country. If I go into all, I can turn on those features or I can turn off those features. Another example would be highways. So I can turn off the highways and then you can see all the yellow lines that were the highways that were on this map before were just removed if I keep it on I can change the color of the highways if I like so you can see the highways are now red so you can modify all the features of a map once you start to edit this map. So I'm going to turn off all transit features. The water as well, here's an example. You can turn water off as well. So this is what it will look like with the water off. Or you can change the color of the water. So you can have yellow water, light blue water, dark blue water, if you choose. If you want a lot of contrast, this could be an idea. You can turn off the text. So that's a lot of the town names, you can see that. So you can play around in here and turn so many things on and off inside your map. Once you have the map that you like, you can zoom in and zoom out and then download the map as an image. When you click download here, I recommend getting 1000 by 1000. And if you zoom out here, you can see that full frame. If you want to move in some more here, you can move it around. The scale factor I would keep at one and then you can download that image and crop it later if you need to. Download that map and crop it later if you need to.